Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, and fasting during this month is regarded as one of the five pillars of Islam. Inspired by previous year's successful events, the Muslim community on the Rock has opened the mosque doors to the public and invited the whole of Gibraltar to partake in a custom known as iftar, which is the breaking of the fast at sunset. During this month, women and men are separated and the long, hard day of fasting is broken with milk, prunes, eggs and Moroccan sweets called shibakaya. This small meal gets the digestive system up and running again after hours of not eating. Then comes prayer. In the month of Ramadan, the whole Quran is recited at the mosque. Ramadan for me is just a time for us to get together at iftar time, which is the time that we eat. The whole family just gets together and it's just nice to have everyone together for, once, for one time in the day. I think it's a month of patience. It's a month where your patience is really tested. A Ramadan is a spiritual cleansing, um, cleansing of the body, the soul, the heart and the mind. It's more of a, a sense of, um, of, of calmness that, uh, that comes upon uh, Muslim people in Ramadan. Uh, well, it means family and all that. Uh, well, it's just like gathering with family and just have a good time, you know. Okay, well, Ramadan for me is a very spiritual month. It's the, uh, the month that the Quran was uh, brought down to us and revealed. And it's a month that we spend with family, break our fast together, and it's a very nice time to just be with your family. The word Ramadan means to burn, comes from the word burning. So um, it refers to burning of the sins, burning of um, 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 your, 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 your waist, burning of your weight, everything. It's a, it's a joint word. Um, Ramadan really uh, means a lot to the Muslim community because it's a, a month where um, worship is done even more and um, prayer is more. Um, you're sacrificing the whole day, you're fasting, uh, restraining yourself from food and, and water and some activities that you, do, that, you can, that you normally can do during the day. You can't just fast for the sake of fasting and not, not eating. You have to do the basics. You, um, your prayer needs to be more accurate, um, your, your closeness to God, your, 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 um, your charity needs to be even more. It has a lot of, it's like a jigsaw puzzle and it all comes together. How important do you feel it is to invite people to learn about your cultures and traditions? I think it's very important. The most important part of it really is to understand each other. If we don't understand each other, oh you're Muslim, you're Christian, yeah okay fine, but if you don't understand what I believe in and I don't understand what you believe in, you, we won't live better. We live better when we understand each other. We don't, we don't, we, we don't want just tolerating, we want accepting and believing and understanding. Just being around everyone, it's, it's so nice to see the mosque just so filled up of people but from different backgrounds and different religions and we're all just joined together. So if we, if we have it here, e anywhere in the world can have it. We can live like this. Inspirational words that we can all live by.